the director of ceremonies, Comrade Dumfiri, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, and Commander-in-Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Dr. Emerson Dambuzum Nangagwa. Your Excellency, the First Lady, Amai Oxiria Munangagwa. My counterpart, Vice President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Honorable Retired Colonel Casey D. Mohadi in absentia. The Minister of State for Provincial Affairs, Zarare Province, Honorable Shidao, our chairman of the ruling party, Comrade Opazpangi Muchinguri Kashiri, the Minister of Local Government and Public Works, Honorable Jurai Moyo. Cabinet Ministers and members of the Central Committee here pres present, members of Parliament, His Grace Bishop Nehemiah Mtendi and Amai, leaders of indigenous and interdenominational church, church council of Zimbabwe, leaders of other churches here present, brothers and sisters. It is my pleasure and honor to join you once again at this indigenous interdenominational council of churches conference after our successful interactions in 2019. I am touched by the theme of the conference which says, joining hands, minds, hearts, and voices together in Christ to save, build, and strengthen our nation. The theme draws from Nehemiah 2, verses 18, which says, Let us rise up and build. Indeed, the leadership and the entire nation is agreed that we need to focus on nation building for us to be a strong nation that we are proud of as Zimbabweans. Your constant invitation of and engagement with the guest of honor is Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, Dr. Emerson Damzom Nangagwa, demonstrates your confidence in his inspired leadership. Since assuming the leadership role of the Second Republic, President, em President Emerson Munangagwa has indeed lived up to his promise that he is a listening president who welcomes ideas and dialogue from all walks of life. He is a God-fearing man who believes that the voice of the people is the voice of God. The president is a true statesman and a visionary servant leader. He is pragmatic and a God-fearing man who is inspired by the word of God and committed to free and the people of Zimbabwe from the bondage of poverty, hunger, starvation, and jobless, jobless.
To this effect, he has set a vision for the country to become an empowered upper middle income society in, by 2030. I am convinced that though the hard work of the people of Zimbabwe, guided by their leader and strengthened by God's power, Zimbabweans will be enjoying a high quality of life by 2013. The work that the indigenous interdenominational council of churches has started clears the road to the promised land. As a servant leader, His Excellency the President, Dr. E. Tim Nangagwa, humbly accepted your invitation and has listened very attentively to your concerns and will continue to listen to your concerns and pray together with you as you ask the Almighty God to intervene in giving credence to the solutions that he has for the country's problems and his vision for a prosperous Zimbabwe. Your Excellency, let me underscore that your presence here today is a testament to your determination to rebuild the nation that is Zimbabwe. I believe with this kind of gatherings, a united, prosperous, peaceful and secure Zimbabwe is achievable where people can freely worship and carry out their day-to-day -day activities with a sense of security and belonging. While government takes stern measures against those who disturb peace, security and the conduct of business, such as those machete-wielding gangsters and robbers who have emerged Prayers and evangelical crusades can also provide significant complementary support. It is my pleasure now to invite the guest of honor, Shumba Wamurambi, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, His Excellency Comrade Emerson Dambudom Nangagwa, to deliver his keynote address, Your Excellency.